Hi every soul and welcome to my playthrough of No Strings Attached. This game was created by Zed Technician. Previously we played Zed's other game called The Man from the Window. Zed is a solo tech developer that enjoys creating games all within the same world. To answer the most common question that people have, the female characters in their work look the way they do because that's their own artistic choice. There are still stories that have not been told and characters that are still yet to be introduced. Also, Zed noted that this game is less intensive than some previous games because it was put together in just one week. The story of this game is, somewhere on Zara Lane there exists a small dimly lit hotel. One Late one night, the proprietor's nap is abruptly cut short by a strange commotion coming from within one of the rooms. After an unsuccessful attempt to ignore the issue, she is given a strange gift box which contains a single clue. Can this puzzle be unraveled before it's too late? Let's check it out. Oh. I guess this must be the innkeeper. Oh! Okay, who's making all that dang racket, huh? Keep it up and I'll put you out on the street. Don't go thinking I won't. Making all that noise when I'm trying to nap. Who in their right mind? Wait. There ain't no guests here tonight. Oh. Well, then who are you going to go yell at? Alright, whoever or whatever in whatever's in here, you better listen up and listen good too. I'm going to bed. You can stay, you can leave, don't matter to much to me. But wake me up again and we're gonna have problems. Got it. Who are you even talking to though? Open me. Ooh, that's very Alice in Wonderland. What kind of darn fool do you take me for? I ain't opening that. Well, why not? Shoot. Find the clue. Lost signal. Find the clue, then open your gift. Find the clue. Find the clue, then open your gift. Or well, what's the clue? Eleven o three p.m. Find the clue. It's a brim closet? Oh. It's been three minutes? Oh, sugar. Wait. Five? Oh, time is going fast. Wrong one. As the intruder closed the distance between himself and Maggie, a single deafening thud reverberated throughout the night. Then all fell silent once more. Not long after, the intruder was dropped off at the local hospital by Maggie. 
She then casually went up on about her business that night. The man had been knocked into a state of stone cold unconsciousness after being bludgeoned by her cane. Despite her best efforts, the doctor was unable to wake him, even after many, many attempts. The man didn't awaken until long after Christmas. What, what was he doing in her hotel? What happens if I find the right one? I remain unmade. The bed? I remain unmade. Um... I remain unmade. A box? I think it would be a box. What's your hint? Um, I remain unmade. Candle. I remain unmade, but hurry, at midnight I will, I will come find you. Losing track of time. Um, oh, could it be this? Wrong one. Okay. Okay, what's our first clue? It's dark outside. It's this one again. Um, it's dark outside. Oranges? There's nothing here. Okay. A candle wasn't it last time when that was the hint. It's dark outside. Um, remains unmade is the bed. I. Th okay, so it's dark outside because the the blinds are open. But hurry, uh, for at midnight I will come find you. Vitamin C is the oranges. I know this one. Where were they? Nope. Losing track of time. Oh no. It wasn't the TV. You're losing track of time. You're... Making a sandwich? You're untidy? I've already opened that one. Losing track of time. Um... You're sleeping... At midnight, oh no. Okay, 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 I have to figure this out. 
Um, boxes. We've already used that one. What is this one? Oh, untidy. It's not this one. Why would you lose time reading? It's not a candle. <gasps> Lost signal. Where's the static TV? Um, eight missing legs. Eight missing legs. No table. No table. Which room has no table? Eight missing legs. Uh, this one. This one. A second box. Um. No. Please be right. Uh. Burn it at both ends? A candle? Right? Please? Oh my gosh, please be right. I remain unmade. No, 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 no! I remain unmade. Come on! Best thing, thing since sliced bread, sliced bread. Where was the bread? Seven years. Seven years of bad luck. I don't remember a room with a mirror. It's it's forty five. I still have time. <gasps> what was that thing? Unheated food? Unheated food. Um, um wait, we've already used that box. We've already used that box. We've already used that box. And that one. Okay. I thought that was something moving. Open the closet. Wait, this is the bathroom. No. This? Oh, why would you do that? I've got you now. I... Hey, wait a minute. You're not Jimmy! I'm not Jimmy, no! What? You're not Jimmy. He was supposed to be here, and you're not him. He lives here, right? Nine one eight nine. No, this is the wrong address. Crap. I'm at the wrong house. Boy, you better start explaining what in the heck is going on before I decide to knock you upside the head. <laughs> so, yeah, I live down. At the Moonwater commune with my brothers and sisters. 
yesterday this guy shows up and he's all like I want to cut this tree down and take it home to use for decoration and we tell him no that's one of our scared trees don't take that one but then he starts chopping it down anyway <laughs> and I'm there you know I'm 100% ready to start throwing punches right and right then and there but then the Grand Elder shows up and goes, No, Philip, you mustn't do that. So I've waited until everyone left and then tracked that guy down. Turns out his name is Jimmy. My plan was just to scare him a little bit. You know, I wasn't trying to hurt him or anything. But then I went to the wrong address. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyway... I've got to go find Jimmy now. Are you crazy or something? You can't do that. Huh? You can't just go barging into, po uh, into folks' homes, boy. You could get hurt or worse. But what about Jimmy? Forget about him. You know, you're too young and headstrong and stupid to realize it now. But you can't just take matters into your own hands like that. There's a right way to go about these things and then there's a wrong way, too. I shouldn't have to tell you that breaking and entering definitely ain't the right way. But enough of that. I've had enough of dealing with you and your nonsense for tonight. So get lost and let me sleep in peace. And don't let me catch you doing something stupid like this again, you hear? Okay, thanks, miss. Just... A tongue lashing and that's it. I love it. Alright, and that is my playthrough of No Strings Attached. I quite like this game. Um, as the lights turned off, the closer that you got to midnight, it really did help with the suspense of the game. I was really, really worried that I wasn't going to be able to make it through with all the clues, but I did, and I quite liked it. I love that she gave them a tongue lashing rather than you know just beating them and putting them back in the hospital but um yeah let me know what you all think thank you all for watching and i hope you all enjoyed as always if you have any recommendations for me please let me know uh in the comments below i will be putting all of the developers and my information down in the description and of course if you would like to watch me live i stream monday wednesday and friday at 9 p.m cst but that's it from me for now and i will see you all next time <laughs>